So we can go ahead to say 5 raised to the power of x. Remember in um, indices when I had when I taught about indices, I said multiplication means addition. Alright, so we can say 5x to 25 is 5 raised to the power of 2x. So we can say plus um, 2x, correct, minus division, division, which is minus, okay, over 2. This is what this means. This whole thing means this, okay? So divided by 5 raised to the power of 5 raised to the power of 3x, multiplication is addition. So we can say plus that is what this whole thing means. I hope you got me. So we can go ahead. If you can understand me, I'm going to use the space right now to provide the to um, get the remaining answers. So we can say 5 raised to the power of x plus 2x minus 2 all over 5 raised to the power of 3x plus 3 would give us some. Um, 5 raised will be equal to 3, this x plus um, 2x will give us 3x minus 2, am I correct? Yes, very correct. So 5 over 5, 3x minus 2, 5 raised to the power of 3x minus 2. Therefore, remember in indices, division means subtraction. So we can say, since they are the same basis, we can say 5 raised to the power of 3x minus 2 subtracted, we are sharing, we are, we're giving them a, a common base. So, multi, subtracted by 3x plus 3. So, we can say this will give us 5 raised to the power of 3x minus 2 minus 3x minus 3x minus 3 minus 3 therefore we would have 3x minus 3x cancel off so we have 5 raised to the power of minus 2 minus 3 will give us minus 5 so our answer becomes 5 raised to the power of minus 5 problem 3 has been solved i hope you understood it from from where, where, where I started to this point, where I have the solution. If you understood it, I will say thank you. Take your time, go through it again. Thank you very much. So, we go ahead. Make your comment, put down your comment where you have confusion. And I will um, take my time to elaborate more on it, on it and uh, give a better answer. Okay. So, we run ahead to problem four. Problem four. Problem four said. Problem four says. Question four. Two raised to the power of two x raised to all power three. Correct. Yes. Multiplied by three raised to the power of three x. Power 2, correct? Yes. Divided by 6 raised to the power of 6x. Solution, how do we work it out? We are in here for it. So this means that, remember that the law of indices says that when k it is, is more, it raised to the power of m is multiplied by n, it would give you k raised to the power of m times n, correct? Yes which gives you k raised to the power of m n. Am I correct? That's very correct. Thank you. This is what we are applying here right now. So we say 2 raised to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 would give you, remember m n? That is it. So we have um, raised to the power of 6x multiply by 3 raised to the power of 6x. Maybe I should show it so you can understand. Look at it. 2 raised to the power of 2x multiplied by 3. Alright? That is what it means. Because it's a power multiplying. This comes out to multiply.
or we can say uh, we can say two uh, some three multiplied two x all right that is the same thing exactly all into three bracket over two multiply three x correct that is the same thing all over six raised to the power of six x therefore two raised to the power of six x multiply three raised to the power of um, 6x all over 6 raised to the power of 6. Am I correct? Yes. 6x, which gives us this is 3. Remember, they have equal power, but they have said we should multiply them. So we can say 2.3, 2.3 in the power of 6x all over 6x. Correct? Which gives us 6 raised to the power 6 raised to the power of 6x all over 6 raised to the power of 6x which gives us what? 1 our final answer becomes 1 so this is the solution to question 4 am I correct? yes I am we are done with that so take your time Space on it. Take your time. Study it. So we will go into question five right now. Question five. If you are clear with this, let's go ahead with question five. Can we go ahead? Can we go ahead? Can we go ahead? Can we go ahead? Okay. Um. Few minutes, please. We we'll go ahead with question. We go ahead with question five, which is going to be worked out to Am I being too fast? Please, if I'm being too fast, you you watch it over and over again, you'll get everything clear. Now watching it, you maybe after the, the live stream, you could go ahead, stream it again and um you would have exactly the same thing. So question five says that uh, that we should solve p raised to the power of three over four multiply in bracket of uh, square root of k over p all multiplied by k raised to the power of five over eight. It didn't end there. And the question says, let it be the same with p raised to the power of m and k raised to the power of n. And hence we should find k raised to the power of p and uh, okay, k raised to the power of p. This is what we ask to find. So let's go ahead with this solution. Now, Remember, in indices, when it is square root, it means one half, that is half, that is square root, that's interpretation of square root, half. So, we go ahead and say, p raised to the power of 3 over 4 multiplied by, uh, K P over P that's K P uh, raised to the power of one over two multiplied by K five over eight. So we can say P raised to the power of three over four by multiplied by K raised to the power of one over two, correct? Divided by P raised to the power of um, half multiplied by k 5 over 8 correct yes p raised to the power of 4 over 3 over 4 multiplied by k 1 over 2 remember that in prime 2 when it is division when we say uh, let me let me get let me let me do something right when we say n divided by m in trying to, what this means actually is n multiplied by
by m raised to the power of minus 1. This is what it means. Therefore, we are going to apply this rule here and say p raised to the power of 3 over 4 multiply. Okay, I was trying to write it out before. Uh, we are continuing from the one. P raised to the power of 3 over 4 multiplied by k raised to the power of 1, 2 multiplied by p raised to the power of minus 1 over 2, correct? Yes, I am correct. Multiply by k raised to the power of 5 all over 8. So if we are multiplying them, what we now do is we take like terms. You need to consider taking like terms p to p, k to k. So we say p raised to the power of 3 over 4 multiplied by p raised to the power of 1 minus 1 over 2 multiplied by k raised to the power of 1 over 2. All right, multiplied by k raised to the power of 5 over 8. Correct? Yes, so we have. Remember the of equal basis. So we say p three over four minus one over two. Am I correct? Yes, I am. Times k raised to the power of one over two plus uh, five raised to the power of uh, five over eight. So we have say p would be this is half. This is um, this is. Uh, 3 quarter minus 1 over 2. So we say the LCM is 4. Therefore, we say 3 minus this is um, 3, 2, 2 over 4 multiplied by k. This is the LCM is um, 8. So we can say 4 plus 5 over 8. Am I correct? Yes, I am correct. So we can say that p raised to the power of p raised to the power of one three minus two is what one over four and k raised to the power of four plus five four plus five is nine all over eight. Yes, that is what we have gotten here. Can I go ahead? Please digest it to this point so I can wipe and we complete the question, the answer here. Okay, let me wipe and then we complete it over there. We are saying that P 1 over 4 and K raised to the power of 9 over 8 becomes our final answer satisfying the equal to K that um, what, what does it say? P M and K N, correct? Is it not the same thing as this? Yes, where m, where m is a uh, one over four, and where n is nine over eight. Correct? Yes. So that is it. We can go ahead right now to work it out. Therefore, I was asked to find is it k k over p. Oh, um, k over p would give us <laughs> p, that's k over p. Um, it's supposed to be n over m because we have only been able to deduce the values for this m and n. So we are supposed to look out for the m n raised to the power of m n raised to the power of m. In values of m and n. Okay, we are not supposed to look out for p and k already because we have already determined kn 
we, we don't have values except of course they are given. When the value for k and p are given, that's when we can find them alphabetically. But hence the m would not have been given. We can also find that. But in order to find this, they said find n m. So we know our m and we know our n. Therefore, we say n which is 9 over 8 raised to the power of um, 1 over 4, which gives us 9 raised to the power of 1 over 4, all over 8 raised to the power of 1 over 4, which gives us 3 raised to the power of 2 over 4, all over 2, 3, 1 over 4, which gives us 3 raised to the power of 1 over 2 raised divided by this is 3 this is 3 that is um, 2 raised to the power of 3 over 4 okay which it finally would give us either a square or we let it be this way, okay? That is it. The answer is 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2 divided by 2 raised to the power of 3 over 4. That is our final answer. Thank you. And uh, we will have to solve several other questions. Thank you.